we're talking about star nose moles. I kind of wonder what the Snapchat filter for that would look like. Ooh, God, never mind. Ooh, nightmare fuel, more so than usual. Hey guys, welcome back to The Stimulus. I'm Steph Evs, and here's what happened this week in STEM. Joey Jaws Chestnut may be a speed-eating champion, but there's one competitor he just can't top, the star-nosed mole. These furry little critters can be found crawling through the soil in wetlands and swamps along the east coast of North America, and in case you couldn't tell from the photo, they're pretty different from a lot of creatures that live above ground. So what's so special about these guys? Well, for starters, it was originally thought that the star-shaped organ on the tip of the mole's snout that it was named for was used to detect changes in electric fields. However, it turns out that it's actually an incredibly sensitive touch organ. The star may be tiny, only reaching around the size of your fingertip, yet it has 100,000 nerve fibers packed into it. That's five times the number of nerve fibers in the entire human hand. This organ plays a key role in this little guy's speed eating career. It helps him hunt by shifting around, acting like an eye, which is a good thing since the moles are pretty much blind. So now for the real question, how fast is it? Let's compare him to Joey Chestnut. In the 2016 Nathan's Hot Dog Eating Contest, Chestnut consumed 70 hot dogs in 10 minutes, breaking the record previously held by Takaru Kobayashi. That means on average, Chestnut is chowing down a hot dog every 8.57 seconds. Now let's talk moles. The star nose mole is able to touch 10 to 12 different places with its star-shaped snout in a single second, repositioning the tiny area at the center of the star organ called the touch phobia. Using this technique, it only takes 8 milliseconds to identify its prey as something chow-worthy, and then it manages to completely eat it in 200 milliseconds. That means that in the time it took Chestnut to eat one hot dog, the star nose mole has identified and eaten over 40 bugs. If that sounds fast, it is. In fact, the star-nosed mole has the fastest foraging behavior of any mammal on Earth. Its nervous system moves information to the brain so quickly that it approaches the physiological limit of neurons. The super stuff about their sniffers doesn't stop there. The star-nosed mole is capable of smelling underwater by blowing air bubbles into flooded tunnels and then re-inhaling them to smell out what's happening. I love these little dudes so much, not just because they have stars on their faces or because they're tiny and fuzzy, but also because they're engineers. Swamp civil engineers to be exact. They play a crucial role in shaping wetlands by digging caverns through marshes with their shovel-like front paws, creating tunnels that they and other mammals such as shrews and weasels use to get around. Can you imagine what that road rage looks like during rush hour? Cell service must be terrible since they're always in tunnels. <laughs> You'd think with all that smelling, speed eating, and tunnel digging, the star nosed moles would spend a large amount of time snoozing. But like Alexander Hamilton, these guys are non stop. They don't hibernate, even the ones that live in the colder climates up in Canada. If you live on the east coast of North America near a swamp, keep an eye out for these little critters. They may be pretty common creatures, but they are rarely spotted since they prefer the subterranean lifestyle. So that brings us to our question of the day. If you had to speed eat any food item, what would it be and why? Let me know in the comments section down below. As always, if you wanna check out this story a little bit more in depth, I will include links to my sources down below along with links to all of my social media. So feel free to check that out in your free time. If you like this content and you wanna see more STEM related awesomeness, feel free to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget, if you find any really cool STEM related news stories throughout the week, you can always send them to me on Twitter at, at the stimulus using the hashtag twistem and they just might make it into a video. But as always, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your week. Stay well, stay awesome, and I will see you next time.